लोभ प्रवृत्तिरारंभ कर्मण अशम स्पृह रजस जायंते विवृद्धे भरतर्षभ नमस्ते टू ऑल दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल श्लोका फ्रॉम श्रीमद भगवद गीता फोर्टींथ चैप्टर ट्वेल्थ श्लोका श्री कृष्ण इज स्पीकिंग अबाउट रजगुण तमगुण सतगुण इन दिस चैप्टर्स एंड आई बीन मेकिंग मेनी वीडियोस इन द पास्ट अबाउट रजगुण तमगुण सतगुण एंड वी ऑल नो दट रजगुण इंडिकेट्स मूवमेंट वॉट एवर मूवमेंट दट हैपन्स इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज ड्यू टू दी प्रेसेंस ऑफ रजगुण इन द प्रकृति प्रकृति हेज गॉट थ्री क्वालिटीज रजगुण तमगुण सतगुण and this entire universe is made from prakriti if i make a you know pot with wood the pot will have the quality of wood if i make a pot with steel the pot will have the quality of steel similarly this entire universe is made from prakriti the entire universe including our mind body intellect has the qualities of prakriti which is rajaguna tamaguna sataguna can we control rajagun tamagun satagun we cannot control it is not possible because these are sukshum gunas so how do we know the indications of these gunas when we understand the indications of these gunas we can probably control for example here in this shloka sri krishna says these are the main indications of increase of rajaguna hey arjuna listen to me carefully he says rajasi vibhrudde when the rajaguna increases in your mind and body what happens lobah pravritti hi lobah will increase lobh will happen to you lobh means greediness you will be having greediness inside you and when greediness happens when you are greedy what happens is pravritti hi karmanam arambah rajaguna indicates movement so we can do any karmas because of presence of rajaguna inside our mind any any karma maybe it may be good karma or bad karma but when the rajaguna is more and sattva guna is less what karmas we will do we will do those karmas which are pravritti hi which are the vritti it helps or it is only focused on sansaric karma materialistic needs we will do karmas for benefiting our body we will do karmas for benefiting our sensual pleasures sense sense organs that means we will do those karmas which are giving happiness to senses for example we we will see probably many pictures because it is giving happiness through the eyes to my mind we will listen to rasili baate means we will listen to those kind of things which are giving me sensual pleasures we will do sparsha we will utilize our skin to do sensual pleasures so this is the impact of rajaguna inside us so when we are totally materialistic when we have only our aim is only materialistic needs and sensual pleasures then arjuna you must understand you have more rajaguna inside you and what will happen the impact of this kind of when you are totally behind satisfying your mind and senses then what will happen is ashamah sham means shanti i have made several videos on shamna indra indra gani we pray to almighty god for peace and ashamah means ashanti we will not we will lose our peace of mind there won't be any peace inside us although we are earning more money although we are going to movies we are going to tourist places we are having all the sensual pleasures we will not be happy inside we will not feel peaceful inside us we will always be having spraha we will always be having cravings spraha means we can say jealousy spraha means we can say craving more and more craving will happen to us because we have used our mind to do sensual needs sensual deeds sensual pleasures so when we more indulge in sensual pleasures the more it wants who wants the mind wants we don't want when we eat the food the food is eaten by us means the body consumes the food jeevatma does not consume the food so when we do sensual pleasures the body is enjoying the mind is enjoying we are not enjoying because we are asanga i have mentioned in my previous videos we are jeevatma jeevatma is does not need all these things jeevatma needs to understand its original swarup when it starts understanding its original swarup then the peace of mind will happen but here we are focused on sensual needs because of increase in rajaguna 
So can you control Rajaguna? No, because Rajaguna is so suksham. It is suksham than an atom. Can you control an atom? No, you cannot control. So when you understand the impacts of Rajaguna, when you know that you are losing your peace of mind, when you know that you are wanting more sensual pleasures, when you know that you are having jealousy, you are having more greediness in your life, then understand that you are having more impact of Rajaguna inside you. So what you should do? How do we control? By controlling the effect, you can probably try to control the Rajaguna. Means you increase the Sattva Guna qualities. Sattva Guna qualities means you increase Veda Adhyaya. You increase worship of Almighty God. You increase Acharya Seva. You increase contact with your Acharya. You increase, uh, you know, need of more knowledge. Try to spend more Veda Adhyaya and time in Veda Adhyaya on reading spiritual books, etc. Then slowly, slowly the impact of Rajaguna will come down. These shlokas are actually written for us to understand our nature, our body's nature, not our nature. Our nature is Jivatma. But our body's nature has to be understood because Jivatma and uh, Jivatma and the Prakriti made body are closely connected. When one is impacted, the other one also is slightly more or less impacted. Like example, I said in my previous video that in the absence of Samadhi, the Jivatma thinks that it is the Buddhi. The Jivatma thinks that it is the mind in the absence of Samadhi. So when you understand what is Samadhi, when you understand what is the nature of mind and intellect, then you will probably be able to control or focus. Jivatma can take decision. Jivatma is Chetan. Mind is not Chetan. Jivatma can try to order the mind. No, 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 no. Don't go to sensuality. Suppose, for example, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, we start seeing TV or YouTube or Instagram. We start keep on browsing, 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 browsing. One hour over. But we are not getting satisfaction. We still want to see more. So if you know, oh, suddenly you will remember. Yeah, yeah. So this is probably my sensual need. So this is Rajaguna action. So let me control. Immediately you start controlling. How do you control? Get up, leave the mobile, go outside for a walk. Take fresh air, come back, start studying something else. When you start studying, it will feel bored. You are feeling boring. Then okay try to keep a timetable okay let me study 15 minutes start studying from studying means i'm telling adhyatmic knowledge 15 minutes let me keep today in every two hours let me start 15 minutes slowly slowly increase the timing so you must try to control your mind like this but for controlling the mind you must understand the impacts when you have greed when you have jealousy when you have ashanti when you have uh, you know cravings then please understand this is the impact of rajaguna and my acharya ji has beautifully written Papasya Yadishtanam Yataha Papam Pravartate. Yudhishthir is asking to Bhishma Pitamaha in Mahabharata 12th, uh, 12 by 39 by 1. What is the Adishtanam of Papa? Adishtanam means we can say a stage. What is the platform for doing Pap? There must be a platform, there must be a base because of which the Pap, the sins are happening. What is that? Then here, Bhishma Pitamaha, that is Vyas Muni, beautifully writes in Mahabharata, Eko Lobo Mahagraho. There is only one platform for all the sins. That platform is a loba, greed. You are too much greedy for more money, too much greedy for sensual pleasures, too much greedy for power, too much greediness to show ego, too much greediness to materialistic needs again and again and again this greed is the base platform for doing all the other sins when you are when you have more greed you will do all the sins possible in this world to satisfy your mind and intellect so here vyasmani says eko lobo mahagraho lobat papam pravartate because of lobe because of greed only the pap is going to start so when you try to control your greed you are indirectly controlling the rajaguna when you are controlling the greed, you are securing that you are going towards peace of mind. You are securing that you are going towards non-jealousy. As I have made several videos, there are so many religions of peace. And famous religion also, the religion itself is name of peace. But please understand, I am not pointing out to any religion. But religions cannot give us peace because the religion teaches us to do more. You know, you can eat. You can do anything else. There is no problem. Just to go and take forgiveness from Almighty God. And if you surrender to Almighty God, you can do any deed possible. And in the heaven, you will get all the sukkha. That is also a lobe. That greed created by that books. 
but then the name of that is kept as peace peace is attained when the indriya is controlled the only way to attain peace is vedic dharma which is taking you towards control of senses when your primary book of religion or any dharma dharma is only vedas but i'm just telling you when your primary book is taking you towards heaven where 72 girls are there where milk is flowing honey is flowing you can eat ta- dance taste anything you can do that means it is creating a greed inside you indirectly but people do not think like this but here when we go to the basics of mahabharata basics of shrimad bhagavad gita we can understand oh this is taking towards this is showing a greed to me almighty god never shows greed to you almighty god says in the vedas you do your karma you will get your result the ultimate aim of your life is leaving your body and going to moksha is moksha a greed no moksha is a state where you do not have any greed moksha is a state where you give away everything there is no greed in you moksha is a state where you completely surrender to god and say idan namama this is not mine i don't want this moksha is a state which is obtained after paravairagya that means my acharya says in the creation of this world in the god made creation even even god made objects god made matters are not needed by that yogi anymore he only wants god that is paravairagya my acharya says like you know in the pravachan my acharya once said see ladies are sitting here they, they are like my daughters but i am telling you the paravairagya stage even the desire to wear a cloth in the body will disappear that means my acharya says when i was in the jungle i was just roaming around without any clothes also because there is no need in the body there is nothing needed even food is not tasty anymore i don't need food i don't need water i just want almighty god this is giving up everything in the life this is paravairagya beyond greed so that stage is the ultimate peace so we must go towards understanding this dharma which is sanatan dharma no other religion can establish peace to everyone in the world inside us also nobody else can restore peace only the vedic dharma that too when we understand gita in the light of vedas for example when we read the gita written by my acharya you can understand these secrets otherwise you will just read one sentence and then just to walk away you will just ah okay okay rajaguna means greed you will be wanting to earn more knowledge and then you want to talk to somebody you are greedy see because of rajaguna you are greedy you will, you will tell to somebody but you will not understand that you yourself are greedy what is that i should do to remove my greed go to worship almighty god go to acharya seva when you do seva you will you know you will become so humble you don't want anything other than the feet of the acharya means feet of vedas feet of almighty god where acharya recites almighty god recites then you will go towards param shanti otherwise everything else is taking you towards greed and greed is the platform for all the sins possible thank you so much namaste om